that you needed an answer, they answered today. How good was that to see? Yeah, it was like the it was like the fight today. It was the punch to and from. You know, we had the two biggest innings. Really, you know, the two or three categories that we've been keeping up with. Uh, uh, the biggest inning, the total base runners, the freebies. Uh, USC won two of those three last night. We won two of the three today, but we had the two biggest innings. And I thought what was huge in, in that bout today is once we had the four spot or the five spot, we went back out on defense and put up a zero. I thought that was huge. And then maybe the third piece and deciding piece for me was when we scored, when they scored three runs and it looked like this ballpark wouldn't go hold anything anymore. They almost hit a grand slam and the double that you felt like earlier in the game may have been caught in left field, just almost climbed the entire wall. Um, we come back and scored four and, and Ware got him one and, and I think McMurray got his first one. So uh, it got late. It wasn't really fun being a pitching coach, but you like the back and forth there because you know what a great offensive club that is. And, and then our guys kept punching, and we got a zero goose egg when we needed it. And we only punched out three times today. I think we had six guys with multiple hits. And that, that, that's huge for us, and we needed it today. Um, and they still, they, you know, when you play a, a team like USC and Andy Stankwich and those guys can shove it in the strike zone, we got to keep growing. Again, we let, that, we let their best hitters come back up in the ninth. Uh, with that fifth at bat. So we're, we're tracking on some things and trying to get better, but the competitive spirit of everybody, uh, that was John Armstrong. He ran out of gas. The coach, I guess that's me, right? We should have got him out a time or two earlier. It's his third appearance in here in about four or five days, uh, down a starter. We're grinding through. He's been amazing for us. Will Cannon back-to-back -back night. So we, we wind up getting a series win, and we ask a couple guys to do some real work. So uh, all in all, pretty pretty proud of the ball club. I think we kicked it a little bit there early. It was nice to see us get back in the game. And then I think when they made a couple of mistakes that I thought we capitalized pretty well on it as well. Mark? What have you learned about your pitching so far? Yeah. Good to see you, Mark. Okay. <laughs> we need more. You know, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm always uh, I'm thankful that's two series in a row to start the year, especially when you looked at uh, – the schedule that we put forth, it, it, it seemed challenging, especially for if more than half of your team is new. That's a pretty challenging schedule to jump right in the middle of. Um, so two series wins, but I, I know what last Sunday looked like with some young guys. And we went for it again. We actually expended some guys today, used some guys today to win a series. And there's no regrets there, but we need to grow in some gaps. So I'm thankful and happy. Was this the cleanest game from – over on our side, uh, pitching-wise, no. Can we grow and get better? Yes. Carter Wright did a nice job coming into the game. We think Nate LaRue is one of the best throwers. We got a lead. We thought it was a big at bat. Mike Bello coming and got the bat. And now I have more trust in Carter Wright. We have to keep being able to do that and learn some things. But we need some guys to, to, to show up and fill in some gaps. We had some young guys last week, and we're going to be right back in the middle of seeing some of those guys do some things for us tomorrow. And what did we learn over seven days? Because mm -hmm. the season is clicking. You don't have a, a half a season or anything to try to figure this thing out. This thing is expediated now that the season started. So we need some young guys to go out and lay some, some good tracks for us and, and make some adjustments from last week. It's actually an opportunity, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I just uh, We didn't have a lot of fun at Plainsman Park last, last Sunday. And, these guys get to, to come back in and redeem ourselves because this is a quick turnaround. You know, we have to make sure we're hydrating, getting into bed pretty quick. That's an 8 o'clock, you know, mm -hmm. chapel pregame meal with a noon start. So uh, I'm really looking how we uh, uh, are interested in coming out and trying to compete. You know, mm -hmm. scores don't take care of itself on how you play, but mm -hmm. I'm interested in how we do. I, I, from infield to outfield, I thought we were step slow. We weren't running straight lines. We were rounding stuff off, not making the throws we need to. It showed up a little bit in that third inning on us there, but the guys hung in there. I, I really like the different types of games. That was a good game. Last week when we got down four, nothing really happened. We waited all day. Today we got down three, and it was nice when we got back in the middle of the ball game. We, we, we drew back even with them, so good to see. Brian? Butch, uh, who's your likely starter tomorrow, and, and what pitches will be available? Uh, Chase Isbell's a likely starter. You know, Crotch felt Nelson that started last week. Uh, uh, Horn, uh, Carlson, uh, uh, Murphy, uh, uh, Hayden Murphy, those are the guys that I think are the, 
the most available and the first ones I think about from being on the sheet today and, and, and being available tomorrow. Isabel threw Tuesday for us, a couple of innings up in, in Huntsville. He's actually uh, been out sick for a couple of days, but uh, I would expect if Coach Rock gives me the green light, that's the name we'd pass on to Southern Cal to get us started. He threw really well Tuesday in relief, so this would be a, a first start and more of like a, will you open this game properly for us type, type mission. Um, just talk to Ike. That is a um, mature sounding freshman. What, what's your, I mean, you, you see him every day. What's your perspective of, of him and what made him successful so far? Yeah, I think he has some gifts. Uh, I think he can evaluate. Much like I probably talked about, about Sonny, mm -hmm. the sheriff last year, just the overall evaluation of the strike zone, what a guy's trying to do. <coughs> I, I don't see him back during a game thinking about hitting off the tee and where where I got it where's my swing got to get I see him visually trying to break down a pitcher this is what he's going to do it's moving like this I hear him talk yeah. you hear the maturity I hear the talk that all he's thinking about is what he's most likely to get and what he's trying to get done in this at bat and, um, so his evaluation his preparation is, is trying to figure out the hitter I think he has ability to blast the ball to every quadrant of the field, whether it be the other way, uh, both gaps, and the pull side. So the whole field's open to him. You know, mm -hmm. the worse the hitter, the less acreage that they hit to. You know, those guys that are dead pull and you know, they got about a quarter of an acre to work in. He's allowed all three acres because I think he's just trying to return energy from which where it's coming from. Yeah. Um, he's trying to do damage. Uh, a third component for me is just overall. A lot of times uh, guys come to school and it's like, man, they need to grow, fill out, get in the weight room, get a little stronger. He's, those boxes are already checked. He's, he's physical. Um, he's confident. That's another one that sometimes is not readily available with a first-year player. So he's got a couple of things there. And then uh, I haven't seen him give a bat away. I haven't been with him now the last five years. But to this point, I have not seen him give a single – at bat away, he's still interested. So I, I'm, I'm pretty excited he's on our yeah. team. And uh, staying on the topic of Ike, um, you've coached a lot of baseball, been on a lot of a lot of really good athletes. Is you know, does he remind you of any other young freshman that's been able to jump out as quick in your career? Uh, Rhett and I were talking. We were talking about some of the the past the other day. Uh, Hunter Renfro. Uh, I, I keep. Going back, I'm trying to think of left-handed. We've absolutely had some. Stephen Williams was a freshman, All-American here. His freshman year may have been his best year. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to set Ike up for something, but I, I think along of like a, a freshman All-American. I, I, we thought he could hit since he got here, back to, to Mark and to share. I mean, he's sitting in our three-hole. Our He was selected as like our MVP of the fall by his peers. You know, we it's not like, oh, he's gotten off to a great start as a freshman, I think. I think our locker room and our coaches and our and the team, the whole organization, feels like that. Uh, you know, he can sit in that three or four hole in the middle of our lineup uh, from from day one. All right, Thank you, coach.